Now, you may have noticed the title to this uh, little lesson is uh, Basic Differential Equations. Now, I want you to read carefully the question that, uh, that's here in front of us. Uh, a graph y equals function x passes through the point 3, 2. The gradient at any point is given by f dashed x equals 4x squared plus 3x. Find the equation of the curve. Now this is a question that often students go completely the wrong direction to try and answer it. So deliberately putting this question in front of us to start with, to focus our minds on if you looked at that question, what would you be thinking it was about? Well, the fact that there is gradient in there often makes people think about straight lines, y equals mx plus c, perhaps about differentiation. But a lot of students do not realise it's actually about integration. Why is it about integration? Well, if we look at this statement here, it's a statement about f dashed x. But what does f dashed x stand for? It stands for the same as dy by dx. So in fact, our starting point is dy by dx equals 4x squared plus 3x. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the equation of the curve. The equation of the curve is y equals something. So we're trying to turn dy by dx equals something into y equals something. How do we do that? We integrate. Because dy dx to y is the reverse of differentiation. And this is called a differential equation. Why? Well, it's an equation because I'm trying to solve it. I'm not trying to find x, I'm trying to find y. And it's a differential equation because it's got differentiation in it. And you will find as you progress through the, the course that uh, differential equations are really the lifeblood of vast areas of mathematics, use of mathematics, uh, engineering, mechanics, um, physics, many of the sciences and so on. So whenever you see a statement like that, almost ignore the wording and say to yourself, I know what this is going to get me to do, it's going to get me to integrate it, that's a little differential equation, I'm going to integrate it. So if you integrate this, it produces y equals 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2. Now at this point in time, if you forget the plus c, you've had it. And so all the times I've kept on about, you must put the plus c in unless it's a definite integral. This is the first example of where it would really go very badly wrong. This is then the general solution of that differential equation. Let's, let's just write that down. These words are good to get the hang of general solution because it's not the full solution because we want something else to happen with our solution. So this is all the solutions that are possible. This plus C gives us any, any sort of range of solutions. But I know something specific about my solution. I want it to go through that point there. Which means that if I substitute x equals 3, I've got to come out with y equals 2. So 2 has got to equal 4 times uh, 27 over 3 is 9, plus 3 times 9 over 2, plus c. I think I've got that right. Let's just check this. 3 cubed is cancels to 3 squared, which is 9. Yeah, OK. So that's 36 plus 27 over 2, which is 13 and a half, plus c. So therefore, 
C equals 2, take away 36, take away 13 and a half. So 2 take away 49 and a half is minus 47 and a half. So my final answer then is y equals 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 minus 47 and a half. So that is the equation of the curve passing through that point with this gradient here. And yes, it's got fractions in, but um, the alternative is to, if you multiply through by 6, then uh, if you wanted to do that, you'd get 6y equals 6 times this is 8y cubed. 6 times that is 9. Uh, whoops, I don't mean that. Do I mean x cubed? Let's get it right. 9x squared minus, and then unfortunately I've got to do 6 times 47 and a half. Uh, let's do 6 times 47. 282, and then 6 halves of 3 gives me 285. OK, so that's the final equation then in its simplest form. 6y equals 8x cubed plus 9x squared minus 285. And so now you can start to learn about what we mean by solving uh, a, di a differential equation. And there will be other bits of uh, AS level that use this sort of, uh, sort of approach. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.